It will be hard to say goodbye to Orphan Black at the end of the season, but we can rest easy knowing the show will leave behind a legacy of groundbreaking storytelling. I think women's stories are being told now in a different way and put at the center, and whether that's just because it's sort of in fashion and they are getting a voice, female directors, female writers, like all these people who normally wouldn't have that platform are getting it. It's a testament to, to what can be done uh, when you put women first. And I think that's sort of what the beautiful thing about the show has been, and that's why so many young and, and old and, and everything in between women have really glommed onto it. And as a result, men have glommed onto it too because it's just not your, your standard, you know, stick em up, baddie, chasing kind of show. It's, it's a beautiful vision of what can be and, and the strength and, and power and potential that, that lies within uh, the human spirit and the female human spirit especially. It's left a huge impression, kind of, an indelible impression in terms of art and women and femininity and gender and queer culture and, and sci-fi, frankly. I mean, there's so many times we're told not to talk about the show as a sci-fi series because there's a kind of ugly connotation that comes with science fiction. But I think the reality is, is that this is sci-fi. This is just the new sci-fi. This is just what sci-fi is becoming now, that it's not Star Trek even though there's nothing wrong with Star Trek, but just it's human stories told against the backdrop of science fiction, which ultimately, that's those were all the great ones anyways. That was Orwell and that was Huxley and all the great science fiction storytellers understood that. And I think that we kind of, thankfully, the writers got it here too. I hope it will help usher in an age of very creative television making, both in science fiction and also in women's rights to their own bodies. I think that's a very important thing right now. And you know, the fact that we are having to march in 2017 for women's rights is a little bit absurd. So I think the show is very forward thinking and I hope people carry on producing art like that and also living that every day. One of the most incredible things that happened to me um, or to us uh, was at uh, Comic-Con one year and this um, really lovely young woman came forward and said that she, having watched the show, that it gave her the language to be able to come out to her mom. And when she watched the show and watched Kasima and her, um, she happened to be kind of a sciencey kind of girl also, but she was able to say to her mom, um, look at this character. She happens to be gay, but that's like, a tiny bit of her personality, the way your sexuality is. She's also like a fantastic scientist, a caring human being, a small bit of a stoner. She loves music. You know, she was able to just say, I am gay and that's part of all of this. And I thought that was an incredible, um, incredible thing to have happened. It was very, very moving for her to tell us that, but also I just, yeah, I thought it was great, empowering. <laughs>